fine. I get that, but you're wrong and I hate you.
Hey guys, it's Zorvax here. Oh shit, it's time to play. Dude, I'm so hyped. I'm so excited. Already. What's up, guys? How the heck are you? Thank you all for being here. And thank you for the hosts as well. Vlad, King, appreciate that. How is everybody doing tonight? Yeah, um... So normally Friday is roulette night, which we've actually skipped a couple times lately. Um, but this is kind of like roulette night. Hey, pew pew. My font changed on OBS and I have no idea why. It's kind of throwing me off a bit. Um, good, we can start early because my works file server crashed. I mean, kind of a good thing. I mean, it sucks that the server crashed, but good that you started your weekend early. <laughs> Uh, oh, I love the the smug with the the thinking thinking hand. It's the Twitch font. They cha they changed the Twitch font. Huh? Thanks. I mean, I know the font's definitely different on my end for sure, because I noticed those things hardcore. But um. But yeah, so normally it would be roulette night. We're kind of doing a pseudo roulette night, although it's not really roulette because I just don't have enough. I don't really have enough scary games to make it a true roulette night. So we're just going to play like a couple different um, horror, horror retro games, um, starting with Fatal Frame, which I've literally only played enough to record the footage that is on my YouTube channel. It's like the most that I've played it this far so it will be overall a fairly new experience for me which is pretty exciting spoopy games yes we're here for the spoopy games but yeah so that's that's on the agenda first. I mean, who knows if, if we enjoy it a lot, we might just, we might just keep playing it. Um, otherwise I've got a couple other retro, retro games we can play. And when I get paid, I'm buying Silent Hill 4 on PC. I don't know if you guys saw, but um, GOG, good old games, GOG, however you want to put it. They put out Silent Hill 4 today on PC, part of the the recent release of Konami games that they've been doing. Which I do have Silent Hill 4 on the original Xbox, but it's not backwards compatible with the one, and I don't have good cables for my original Xbox, I just have the crappy composite cables. 
so I really don't like to stream it that much because it doesn't look good. Um, so I'd be more than happy to have a PC copy of it. And I'm hoping that also means that they're going to be bringing uh, the other ones to GOG as well. Two and three especially. What's up, Draconic dude? How you doing? Talos Prince was just added. It's 90% up. Yeah, I saw Silent Hill. Yeah. Silent Hill, baby. Everybody loves Silent Hill. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people do. Um. So let's go ahead switch over to this. I haven't used this scene in a long time. I need to hide that. I did put my little pumpkin on there, though. I always have to have the scene on so everybody can enjoy the startup sounds of the old consoles. It's a must, man. <laughs> jumps back into the shadows. I've never played Talos Principle though. Never played that one. I've played Silent Hill 4. I've played... I haven't actually ever played Silent Hill 3. I think that's the only one I've never played. Oh, and Downpour. I've never played that one either. I have Homecoming. I have one. I have four. I have Homecoming. Yeah. All's well. That's good to hear, my friend. Talos is awesome. Spencer, what's up, dude? It is spoopy time. It's time for the spoop. I might have to adjust just a little bit so it's not... We'll do a new game. I do have a game, but we'll do a new game. Should I could probably do... Oh, okay, that's just... Actually, that's not a bad idea. See all four people. I mean, I can see all four people on the photo. That's a good good thing or not. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where's Elgato? Filters... tweak the brightness up ever so slightly just to give it a little helping hand there oh yeah all my retro games pretty much unless I'm playing it on like a mini console like the Super Nintendo or Genesis classic pretty much everything I play is on the original consoles um, I'm using I have HD retrovision component cables into a retro tank for the capture And I have I how long it's been since my brother and I began to see things other people can't see. Oh no. Um so yeah, I've got the PS2, I've got a Dreamcast, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, GameCube. My big brother. He was so sweet and kind. <laughs> trying to talk over her. Xbox One, it's Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, Wii U, about these visions. original Xbox, Switch, mini systems. After our mother died, it's a lot. He was my only family. Yeah, the uh, the 2X Classic. Yep, good old Tecmo. So this is Himuro Mansion. Yeah, I've never played any of the Fatal Frame games before. Yeah, the uh, the clear acrylic case for it. I do want to get one of the nicer cases for it. Like the, the, the 3D printed enclosures. That would be nice. Disappeared while researching a book. Much Japanese, very spook. I like yeah. When he told yeah. me that he got a lead on Mr. Tommy yeah, as well. I have a save from like two nights ago. Cause I recorded like ten minutes. Uh 
Cause I'm doing some like raw capture footage of different like he was going far away. old school games. So yeah, I played for like 10 minutes to to record that, and that's as far as I've played any of these. <clears throat> I mean, I'm happy with it. It's fine. I just I wanted one of the nicer enclosures that has the the buttons on top where it's easier to to do things. Yeah, the 2XM is something that I would like to get because I do a lot of like PS2 and eventually Xbox when I can get some nice cables for it and GameCube and stuff. And I'm my understanding is the 2XM is really good for that stuff. Ransom involves you still in the prototype phase. Heck yeah, of course I want to see it, Pew. There's an angry looking mask on the wall. A box of film on the floor. Oh, you can control the light. That's cool. It's not really an issue of reaching them. It's just where my my tank is kind of up here under the TV to my left. So like, if the button was on top, it'd be real easy to just tap it. But instead. I kind of have to reach under the TV because that part is like just below the TV. So it would be be a little easier for me. But like I said, it's not a not a priority. I've had the retro tank now for like almost six months. Maybe is maybe a little. Yeah, it's right around six months. I think I got it sometime around like April. Okay, yeah, this is this is my save right here, literally in the first room. So I guess I could have just probably loaded, but yeah, that's how we do the camera. All right, man. I appreciate you. I'll check that out here in a in a bit. And then, like, may last the OG two X's. Yeah, I, I noticed a while back that they had disappeared from the the website. <clears throat> At least that version of them. I thought. I think there was another another version of the classic, but it was a little different. I'm not really sure. Rope hallway man. That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I learned about all this stuff from from Biff. Which I mean I've known I've known Biff for years, but he uh He he helped me get into all this stuff with the, the capturing my old systems and everything. He was the one who recommended I get the retro tank. Prono, which adds scan lines and full HDMI in the mini, which is composite as video. We spent the entire morning today from like 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. fighting the Lost Kin and Hollow Knight. Dude, Hollow Knight's so good. I'm definitely going back to that eventually. Oh, it is, absolutely. And I mean, that was the whole thing, because when I talked to him, he was like, well, since you have so many consoles, like, it makes way more sense for you to get a retro tank where you can essentially use it with just about everything you've got. Man looking down. Because, I mean, there's there's very few things that don't work with it. Like, obviously, the, the Xbox 360 doesn't work with it because the the signal's too high. The component signal's too... It's like a 720, I think, component signal. And then, I haven't tried it, but... Um, he said it wasn't 
as great with the uh, the NES, but I don't have my NES to test that and, and tweak it. Yeah, well that's why like as soon as they put the, the component cables for the PS2 up again here recently, whenever it was like a month or more ago, I snatched those up as soon as I could. Uh, how nice fun, but I can't really play it without a walkthrough. That might be because I went back in the middle of a game and I know where I haven't haven't been. Yeah, it's those kind of games, man. It's easy to get lost, turned around, not know where you're going. My 360 doesn't have native HDMI. I don't know if it was like an original run version or something, but it, it doesn't have HDMI on it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, it has no HDMI out. It only has um, that huge AV connection, which is I have the component cables for it, which the component signal is incredible. Like, I hooked it directly up to my TV via component, and it looks amazing, but the, the tank doesn't capture that high of a resolution via component, so there's no way for me to actually, like, capture it that way. Uh, 360 came on the transition from you RGB. Back off, yeah, I think RGB was uh, is more of a overseas thing. But yeah, like com composite and component and all that. Component was like the nicest you could get before HDMI. And like I said, the component on it looks incredible. I played a couple games the other week and they looked really good on my, my HDTV. Yeah, that's what I said. It looks great, so I'm definitely not. The only downside is just that I can't can't stream it. It's a bummer. But I mean, also the fact that uh, it's an original run. Xbox and it's still living didn't get the red ring of death I'm happy happy enough about that That's right. I'll take your picture I'll take your picture ghosts All right hold the camera up with oh and press the shutter with X there's inside the circle power accumulates the damage you inflict on the ghost because of as you accumulate more power in the camera Have the ghosts in your view found in the circle and the circle glows take a shot during a shutter bug one, okay Dead ghost dead I captured a ghost with this camera with this, this camera. camera has the power to expose things the normal eye can't see I remember the incident from which I learn of its unique power to capture ghosts <laughs> he speaks about it so calmly just like it's no big deal this pixel looks so good on Instagram. Black padlock on the door. But yeah, I've I've been loving the retro tank. Obviously the component cables for the PS2 were another 
really great upgrade. Can't see her from here. Oh, that's the broken stairwell there. Oh, I can move faster. Okay, if I hold square. You say fix take to the memory card. Uh, maybe. It's a good question. All right, so there's a padlock. I guess I gotta go back down because there's nowhere else to go up here that I can see. Trying to figure out what the glowing means. Cause like when I look towards this wall, that glows really bright. Like I don't see anything. Does the same thing here too, like when I look this way. Oh, it's open back there. How do I get through? There's obviously something in there, I guess. The door to the entrance is open, but I'm sure it was just closed a while ago. Oh no. Yeah, I saw somebody walk through here. Please don't. It's been two weeks since I last heard from my brother. Oh no. But he left a note that led me to this place. I felt as though something was calling me here. So now we're this girl. Oh, how the turntables. The strangling ritual. Okay. Oh, it's in color now. What the shit? Did someone just... I 
don't know. Did they just? I think it's more creepy now that it's in color, and that's normally the opposite. What's this? Something on the floor. Herbal medicine. I actually didn't want to go down. I want to go here. Yeah, see, that was my file entrance on the other guy two minutes in. I played, I think, like 10 minutes in just to record that footage, and then that was in. Now we're 14 minutes in. Hey, what's up, Cap? How you doing, man? Oh, it looks like you can. You can save, like, photo albums. Interesting. We're just playing some Fatal Frame, doing some spooky retro games tonight. Uh oh. Now there's another rope, and another rope. Well, that can't be good. Uh, no wheel, only because I just, I don't have enough scary games to even try to fill out a wheel. I've only got a few, mainly this, this in the second one, and then a couple Silent Hill games. Um couple Resident Evil games, like nothing that might actually be about it, honestly, for, for retro scary games. Yeah, that's probably about it. Uh, uh, yeah, I did. I did, have not even begun to look through it yet. It's because there's so many. The camera. Be careful, there's a ghost in that camera. Well, that's not good. Spooky Station is a part of it and has some cute Halloween themed games. I'll have to look that up because I definitely want to play some more some more um, scary and just Halloween themed games. The Mansion Investigation. Yeah, one sort of scary. I mean, I can play some Layers of Fear. I've already beaten Layers, layers of Fear on stream uh, a couple years ago. But I wouldn't be opposed to dedicating a night to, to playing some of it. Special significance. Massacred his entire household. Dang. I hope it's not too late. I think it is. It's got over six games. It, yeah. Visage. I've never heard of that one. Luigi. Luigi's Mansion. I don't have Luigi's Mansion. Pump for the new Amnesia. I never finished Amnesia. I did I did play a fair amount of it a long time ago, like cl close to five years ago. Let's do it. 
Not owning Luigi's Mansion is against the law, isn't it? I mean, probably. At least in a couple states. I wish I owned the original one, but I don't. A lion mask. Hey, we got more medicine. Of the herbal kind. Bro's shadow. I don't know what the significance of taking these pictures are, but it's doing something. Yeah, I need to get three eventually too. 11.45. I guess that'll be good to remember. Oops. Film. The Twitter meltdown. I don't know if I saw it. Those use cool three is way better. Yeah, I, I do want to get three. It's on my list of games to get. I'm trying to have a a fairly good Switch library since Crystal and I both play so much Switch. But it's hard to keep up with. I have the um. I don't know where I put it. Oh, I put it up here. I have the uh, the 3D All Stars that I've been wanting to play because I've never actually played Sunshine or Galaxy. So like, I really want to play those too. But I didn't want to get into playing those um, when I was already in the middle of the Yakuza playthrough. Eternal Darkness. I don't know if I've played that one either. Oh, she hears something on the other side of the door. Oh, um, I remember seeing something about. I don't, I don't play Smash Brothers, so I'm not real keyed into it. But I did see something about it. Like, like, did it take Twitter down or something when it happened? I think that went down while I was at work. Damn it, I just missed him. It sucks. I don't feel anyone's presence. Do you normally? No, it just says it's locked. Like, how am I supposed to catch shots like that? Does that happen so fast? I gotcha. I mean, I know I, I've heard all the the stories about how Smash players get when when it comes to the game and new characters and stuff. So Trying to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. There's no way through there. 
sealed by a powerful force. It says dust has been disturbed around the fireplace. It doesn't give me any op option to interact with them. Oh, well, something's happening now. Oh God. Camera, take your picture. Do it. Take a picture of that. Should I take a photo? Fireplace do be making me hungry though. Okay, what's this? You can see things you can't be seen with the naked eye. Try taking a photo if the controller vibrates or if you hear strange noises. What? Well, ain't that some shit right there? Uh, just like in the photo. But why do we need that? Couldn't she have just said, hey, let me move the screen and see if there's anything here? I don't know where it is, man. I'm sorry. News clipping. Human body with no limbs was found. Hands, feet, and head were all torn off. And both a murder and an accident. Man around the age of 30. Well, that's never a good sign. Nah. Definitely hear something. Something red or green implings to wear around. Nice. Type thirty seven film. Oh, so it's strong. It's, it's like stronger ammo. Oh, 
Oh, that's what I was hearing. Oh, God. Dang, he was going that fast. Oh god. Well. What was that? Look how behind you! Stopped in the middle. Saw that door open. Trust no one. Not even me. In fact, especially not me. Damn, it's so hard to catch those things before they're gone. Oh, the controller was vibrating, but I guess not about that. Oh no. Get the camera out. Zombie ghost. <laughs> Got him. I'm sorry, man. With mystical power, the camera seal. Power-ups? Select camera to access the power-up screen. Oh, cool, okay. Okay, so I can afford speed. Basically all I can afford right now. Another tape.
Hey, I tried to take the picture before it didn't work. It's like the lion mess near the sunken fireplace. So I need to get the lion mask. Okay. More herbal medicine. Like I was hearing shit again. I am. He's behind me. Ow. Get out of here. That's right, I ain't scared of no ghost. There's something else too. Is this still glow when I'm over here? No, I don't like glow. It was glowing when I was on the other guy. Alright, let's go back. Oh god. Really? Well, screw you too, buddy. Yes, let's use the red hand mirror. What's this? It's that person I just saw. <gasps> oh no. The ropes. the ropes. Ain't my fault, bro. Oh, so I can't leave until I finish beating this guy. I'm trying to help you. I'm sorry. Spirit stone. Oh, okay. A 
Okay, I'm coming. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll upgrade. I don't know. We'll do this one. Well, yeah, because I destroyed the ghost because I am the best there ever was and all that. More medicine. Oh no. What the hell is this? Well, we got the key, which I'm assuming will open the locked door upstairs over there. Oh no. Question is, do I run back and save really quick? I have to go shower on the laptop on that noise I'm about to end Smith's career. Uh, this game's pretty creepy. It's definitely got those uh, those survival horror vibes, man. It's like Resident Evil, except for instead of being special forces with a gun, I am a schoolgirl with a camera. So what do you think? You guys want to keep keep going with this? We've been playing almost an hour now, just about. We can keep playing this, or we can switch it up to something else. Uh. <laughs> it's pretty much between this, Silent Hill, and um, Resident Evil. Those are like really the only older scary games that I have, so... So we can keep keep digging with this one. <sighs> yeah, I want to get Silent Hill 4 on uh, GOG for sure. It's only $9.99. I just... I don't have any money right now to, to buy it this minute. That's definitely on my list though, because... I loves me some Silent Hill games. Yeah, let's see if this opens the door. Oh, it did. It's always a scary feeling in these kind of games when you open a new room. Research scrap. Because this is a passed down through the generations of the Himuro family. Or 
All right, they're all dead. People who live near the mansion stayed inside on that particular day, and even now it's considered bad luck to leave the windows open on that day. Who were these people? This is a big room. More medicine. This is a really big room, dude. A library. Hey, film. Hello. Mm -hmm. Love you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm not like you. All right, spook ya. No, I'll take it. You mean you knocking it down? <laughs> Half the time I can't catch these things, but I did this time. What's with the ropes, man? Creepier it gets. Why do all these scary games happen in mansions, man? This place is huge, man. I don't want to go downstairs just yet. Wow, what a mansion. Hi. Okay, so that door won't open. It's a trap. Oh God. Oh God.
Ooh. Okay, that was the first first scary ghost that we've encountered. <laughs> uh, how do you think I feel? That was the first time I've gotten hit by anything, too. Oof. Oh, wait, is there any upgrades for my camera? Oh yeah, we can upgrade everything. Let's do that. Let's keep it even. How about that? Boy, howdy. This game. Looks like bloody handprints or something down the walls. They report that four children failed to return home after 9 p.m. Children being snatched away by ghosts. Oh no. This place is just getting creepier, man. It happens. Not really. Strangling ritual. The 13th day of the 12th month. Okay, so that's what they're talking about before. For 3,666 long days. Shall be torn apart to provide power to the rope. The hell? Oh, okay. The Wandering Woman. Stop whispering at me. So, woman in the white kimono again. She's trying to tell me something. She knows I have the special sense for ghostly things. Her name is Kitty. Shouldn't get any closer than this. I don't want to get any closer. Uh, I don't want to either. But here we are. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Awesome. Awesome. No. I said no. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yay, save point. Yay. Ooh, we made it. Something over there. Or notebooks. Found Ogata's body. His head, hands, and feet were strangled off. Soon this the crit here long ago. Rope Shrine Maidens. Something about ropes and mirrors. Uh. Let's 
This is not a good place. Thanks to the five guys protection place the stone representing five mirrors in the correct location. Broken crest. I know. I always say I want to play scary games and then once I do I start to regret. I don't know if it's trying to tell me that there's something there, if it's just because of that door is. I think it's the door over there. Yeah, that's exactly why I didn't want to play Alien Isolation last night. I didn't need the added stress. <laughs> this is so stressful playing scary games. What's this? Buttons with characters, the device must open the door. The Shinto ritual strangling. Help them the day of. I don't know what any of these symbols mean. I was trying to see if there was any kind of... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the symbols mean, so... This doesn't make me feel good. <sighs> Clearly saw this is from September. Image of a woman in front of the mirror near the entrance. She had long hair and a white kimono, a rope tied around her arms and legs, right? And... Is there nothing else in this room? That seems kind of weird. There's definitely something. I guess nothing I can do right this minute. And then that goes back. I went down there, I think, too. There were other doors off this room in here. the save room here too. They're completely passed. Oh, I listened to the tapes. And the red scrap. August. How long were these people in here? Sending the various rituals passed down. These still have to book a research. I can't find it anywhere. Oh, I listen to these tapes. September 9th, 5.40 p.m. 
The mansion was nowhere to be seen on the map, so we finally had to ask the locals how to find it. They told us that Himuro Mansion had been empty for several decades now. The same ones who told us where it was also warned us not to come here, which was quite disconcerting. Up. September 9th, 9.40 p.m. It seemed dangerous to walk through the mountain at night, so we decided to spend the night here and continue our work. I've been through several rooms already, Unlike the exterior, the interior is still in quite good shape. A little earlier, I thought I saw a white shadowy figure of a woman in the hallway near the entrance. I'll keep track of such sightings and publish them in a later account. He sounds so robotic. September 10th. 10.20 a.m. We discovered some disturbing photos in a chest of drawers. This is legitimate robot. Could these be the folklorist children mentioned in Koji's notes? The photo is quite old and shows some kids playing tag. In the corner of the photo, there's a faint image of a young girl in a white kimono. Oh no. Her finger is pointed this way, and her eyes look as if she's making some silent accusation. Not a silent accusation. Okay. There's another door back here, maybe? Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe this is the one I just went out yeah, a minute ago. So there wasn't really another door. Knock at me. Understand. Shinto ritual training wing held on the day of. But I don't know what any of the symbols mean. Is the thing. Like I might be able to figure it out if I actually knew what any of them meant. But I don't have a clue. These are numbers? <laughs> Excuse me? How do I know what these numbers are? I 
I don't know. This is the wrong numbers, but I don't know. <laughs> These are all like Japanese symbols. How do I know what they are? Yeah, I man, like I just, I don't know how I'm supposed to know, like, what this, I wouldn't have even known they were numbers, unless it said that. See, 3669, that seems like that would be it. But what's, what are those numbers? Hold on, let me see. If the top one is one, let's say, let's try that. That'd be three, six, Six. Nine. No. Oh, let me just look. Let me just Google Japanese numbers and see if any of these look familiar. I don't feel like that's cheating at all. Let's see. Okay, well none of these none of these match what these symbols are. At least not for the lower numbers they don't. And I'm just more confused. Well, that's the thing when you enter it it says like I must have entered the wrong numbers nothing happens it looks like I entered the wrong numbers I don't know I can only assume that I come across something that has those symbols on it Cause that was the thing I was like, it says numbers, let me look at numbers, but those were definitely not numbers according to Google. I don't like when it does stuff like this. More film. It's actually Chinese calendar weirdness. Top number is 10. Numbers start to go from, so numbers start from one and go up. Counterclockwise. So I had the right idea, but I was going clockwise. 
Interesting. Yeah, that's really weird. I'm, I'm assuming maybe you're supposed to come across something? I don't know. A lot about these rope shrine maidens. I'll try that when I get back over that way. I appreciate it. Sacred water. It looks like hair. Well, then why don't you pull it off? Uh, oh god. Okay. Ah, don't do it. Phew. Oh, wait, did I do it? I got turned around, damn it. Have a good one, dude. I appreciate it. Well said, um... How long the day of? It would be... 12, 13, right? Or it would be 13, 12. I don't know how they do it. We'll try 12, 13. Alright, let's try 13, 12. No? Not that either. Oh, no worries, Pew. This says Shinto ritual strangling held on the day of before from the gouge that words. And it says in that one thing that I looked at. Which one it was? Oh, shit, it's in this gnome. The numbers zero through three, but I don't get the rest. Characters have the same readings as four through nine, but mean something different. Because each one has a special meaning. Okay. So there, uh, there is a file that has that. I don't know how I'm going to remember that, though. Let's see, that's... I'm going to just do it the old-fashioned way and take a picture. <laughs> the old-fashioned way. Take a cell phone picture. It's real old-fashioned. Alright, hold on. Where are you, photo? Alright, so one is this. Is this two? I guess that's two. Aha! 
That was it. It was it was thirteen twelve. I figure there had to be a file that explained that. Because there'd be no other way for you to just figure that out without googling it. Seductress? Excuse me? So that should have opened that other door. Because I'm so tempted to say at least I gotta beat the hell out of that on my lost kin, oh no. That game's so much fun. I guess we'll go upstairs and take a look. No, no spookiness, please. I know that's your bread and butter game, but... It's one thing I do like about these games, though, more so than newer scary games. I feel like so many newer horror games rely more on, like, the jump scares and stuff than just having, like, a really creepy atmosphere. That's something that games like this and Silent Hill and stuff do really well. It's just, it's not like it's that scary. It's just really creepy, and it leaves you with, like, a constant anxious feeling like of what's gonna happen I'd say it's so far it's right in the middle there hasn't been anything real scary yet I think I've only been surprised by one thing so far but I mean just like the, the overall atmosphere and that like feeling of dread is so so there in these kind of games got him <laughs> if which ones are I mean like obviously this one this is a, a US I mean, it came to the U.S. because this is a U.S. copy. Along with Fatal Frame 2. Um, and then, like, Silent Hill and stuff. So this door should be open now. Yes. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, God, it's blood. Amnesia, Five Nights at Freddy's, and these games are line jump scares, yeah. I think Amnesia did a decent job with the atmosphere. Like, it definitely had me... Damn it, I missed him. It definitely had me creeped out while I was playing through. But, um... Oh, I didn't like that. I'd say of the newer horror games, the Amnesia is probably among the best. I didn't really like Five Nights at Freddy's. I thought it was way too gimmicky. That's just me personally. And then of course, once it got popular, they just like milked the shit out of it. Bonte, I know not the baby, please. No babies crying. We don't need that in our lives right now. How you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Yeah, the... Uh, like I said, I tried to play one, and I was just like, eh. I don't know. 
Like it pretty much solely relied on jump scares. It was literally just sitting there, switching between like cameras and opening and closing doors and things. Until you eventually got jump scared by something. Yeah, it's not shaking. She keeps mumbling the same words over and over. Plus, the other thing is story. Like, I enjoyed the story. The story of Silent Hill, of Resident Evil, of this so far. Don't understand how Five Nights became exclusive for PS5. I mean, I get that they're really popular games. Mainly because of, like, YouTube and stuff. Because there was that big craze after PewDiePie blew up and then the other, other guy. Playing scary games. And getting freaked out by them. Most methods were too, at least it was an indie dev and not some souls husk in a suit. Yeah, I mean, I don't have anything against, like, I don't have anything against them. It's just, I don't feel like it's my cup of tea. I've just, I've never been a big fan when it comes to video games or movies or anything when they rely more on jump scares than they do anything else. Like, I want a good story. I want the, the atmosphere that's just, like, Dripping with dread and hopelessness. I think that's why I, I love the Silent Hill game so much. Because they nail that. The older ones do. I don't know too much about the newer ones. Second, so where did that go? How did I find that before? Oh, it was item. Say so Sony isn't desperate because they don't have enough games for the PS5. But I won't. Very few games nowadays actually nail the feeling of dread, yeah. I mean, like, when you play Silent Hill for the original Silent Hill for the first time, like, it was scary because just the, the whole atmosphere of the game and then the monsters were just, like, extra creepy. And the fact that you were playing a character who, like, wasn't a badass, he was just, like, an average dude. And he couldn't really fight that well and couldn't really shoot that well. September 11th. 8.16 p.m. We looked all over the mansion, but we still couldn't find Koji. While true that this mansion is huge, I'm certain we would have found him by now. Could we have already left? He's been saying something about more ropes since we took some photos yesterday. Stop whispering. Any doubt, Typing of the Dead, Silent Hill. I've never played Typing of the Dead, but that's a pretty bold statement. I think I've heard of it before, I'm pretty sure. Oh, another broken crest. I mean, the thing is, like, all my love for Silent Hill pretty much comes from Silent Hill 1 and 2. So, because I didn't, I didn't ever play 3. There's haziness there, but I don't know why. There we go. And 4, I played, but I don't really remember all that well. Woman in pain? Oh no. Which is why I really want to get um, Silent Hill 4 when I can on PC from GOG. It looks like they're trying to make some money off some classics. I'm sure they'll release more if it's well received. The thing is, is like though, if they wa if if they wanted it to be well received, they should have led with two. If they released Silent Hill 2 on PC, it would have exploded. GOG's site would have freaking 
went down. Everybody loves Silent Hill 2. Oh. But I don't know what the whole thing is with, you know, why they pick... You know, why would they would pick 4 over any of the other ones. 4 seems kind of like a weird choice to lead with. 4 is already something to write home about. That's what I'm saying. Like, it seems like kind of a weird choice to lead with, but maybe it was the easiest one to do? I don't know. I don't like that. Oh yeah, I don't like that one bit. Yeah, I was right. Okay then. But yeah, I don't know what what they what made them choose four, but like two and three, I know I know three is really popular, even though I never played it. So like, I think if they would have led with that. But I don't know if they have any kind of a reason why they couldn't. Because I know there's like the HD collection with 2 and 3, even though that wasn't well received either. Like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I have, I have 4. I have it on Xbox. Original Xbox. I still have it. Um, it's not backwards compatible with the 1, though, so that kind of sucks. I have Silent Hill Homecoming on PS3, which I don't think I ever beat but I mean I'm glad I have it just because I would like it to eventually own all the Silent Hill games just because September 12th 9 a.m. I found Koji his death was just like the one in the mountain village oh no his head and limbs were severed god I can't believe what's happening I can't believe it either. Oh, I don't like this. It's lit, fam. <clears throat> Well, how do I light it? Stone mirror. I am excited for Resident Evil Village, though. something over this way. Didn't I already take her photo? I guess not. Nope. And so I gotta find a way to light that lantern out here. That's the sealed door. What's up with this stone? Like, is there any significance with this thing? Or is it just kind of here? 
Look, it's just kind of there. Okay, this is where I initially came from. Is this the seal that broke? No. This is the one that broke. Oh god, she's looking at me. I don't like that. No, sir. any of this. You know, some children are playing here. I can't see them if they keep calling me or they're playing tag hide and seek. Oh god, no. We I don't need ghost children. Human heads. Served off the sacred ropes, worshipped. Well, that's never good. My spirit stone. Oh god. Oh god, there's ghost kids in this room. Oh god, no. Oh no. Oh shit. Slow the other kind of film real quick. Did she just stun me? That was not cool. Please stop. Okay, yeah, uh, not a fan of the ghost kids. <laughs> uh, I don't want no ghost children, that's for sure. No ghost children, no ghost babies. I need none of that. Oh god! Okay, that was not cool.
That's some creepy shit. Oh, there's something on the ground down there. I do really like the, uh... Like, the combat. It's unique with the taking pictures of the ghosts to combat them. That's really cool. I mean, Bonte's usually at work around this time, I think. I don't want to use this film for that picture, but you only have like half a second to take the pictures before they're gone. Yeah, lighter. Now I can light the lamp. Rope Shrine Maiden in the Legends. Oh shit, I don't want to go upstairs just yet. Breaking smash, broken mirror, people on the floor over the mansion. They're running from their endless deaths, man. Push goes back slow. So nice, but they require a lot. I get the speed up. And I'll probably save for a special one after that. Oh, what is this place now? I don't like this either. Medicine. Oh no. Maybe get off the bridge. No! Are you trying to have sex with me? <laughs> Basically. Oh god, she teleported behind me. Damn it! She disappeared. I was trying to charge up for that perfect shot. Some might. I probably shouldn't, though. Ah. 
Okay, well that sucked. Let's use a little herb and listen to the tape. Since we met that girl, I've seen many strange visions. All the ghosts in the mansion howl and scream at me. I don't think they'll ever let me out of this mansion. I don't even know how long I can hold on to my sanity. Anyway, I'm leaving this tape. If ever someone listens to this, please tell me what has happened to me. But still, I hope it's just a dream. If you're dead, how can I tell you what happened to you? Japanese are so technically advanced they can listen to tapes without needing anything else, yeah. Just, they just hold it up and they can hear it. Not to mention, how was the ghost, like, carrying a physical tape? The voice rings a man she wanted me to do for her. Broken five pieces, the mirror. The way to break the curse. I need to break the curse. The chosen maiden purifies. Okay, this I don't know yet. I didn't actually think that was gonna work. <laughs> it was the other number from the first thing. The 3669. Yeah, it's a ghost thing, you wouldn't understand. Sometimes mortals just don't understand. Oh, save point. We'll get to that. Ah! Man in backyard. There, that's what I was looking for. Before we save, let's listen to them. September 12th, 320 PM. I know this sounds crazy, but there's something here besides us in this mansion. I've seen it myself. It was a woman in a white kimono. Something is definitely happening here. Have we unknowingly awakened something? Or perhaps we've been lured here to die? Probably. <laughs> Probably so. This is the thing I hate about playing like good story games like this now because like now I hate having to not continue playing this and I know by the time I play again I'm gonna have forgotten most of the story that is what I want to do I know I need to go back and light that lantern. Oh no. 
what? Tell him he's going to die. Just like you. Damn it, she disappears and I can't get her. No, damn it, you're supposed to turn around. This one's really hard to fight, man. What about the mirror? They don't get it. Music's just starting to get hurt fairly often now, man. Something about the mirror breaking the curse, five pieces. There are about five pieces of Mary, yes, passed down through the Nara family for generations. These pieces were said to seal off the hell gate. Oh god. Five holy mirrors and shrines around the area all broke in a small earthquake the other day when I heard about it. Gave me the idea for the next work of mine, I think. I brought a news article here. There were only five holy mirrors in existence. According to some legends, there is another, the true holy mirror. Down here in the mansion. I think that the five mirrors that were destroyed in the earthquake the other day had the role of watching over the true holy mirror. I don't think it was the earthquake that broke the five holy mirrors. It seemed that the seal on the Hellgate. Oh shit. Five mirrors are trying to warn us. That's not good, man. Damn Hellgate's gonna open up. Where's Doom Guy when you need him? Oh god, I don't like this. Huh? Hold on, I can't hear you. Well, time to go after the creepy ghost, I guess. And there's ropes everywhere. One more Buddha statue. What does that have to do with the Buddha statue? The lanterns, which I have the lighter now. What does the stone mirror do? I don't understand.
Can't go that way. Film nice. There's invisible walls blocking me. Okay, so what does this say? All right, so it showed the lantern, which I knew I was gonna have to go back and light eventually. Ghost people. Looks like something on the ground behind the well over here. Another stone mirror that I can't use. Oh no. I didn't want that. Let's go try to light that thing now. Hopefully I don't get attacked by too many ghosts, which I know I will. Notice anytime they make you backtrack for something, you always get attacked by ghosts. So, I mean, I guess that's the whole thing, right? or something <laughs> or something let's see actually I'm gonna switch my f well no I won't never mind let's say I switch my film back but in case any the quick ghost pop up I don't want to waste my good film turn again was it out this way or was it on the other side I don't have a map do I oh I do it was on the other side there it is right there I've gone all this time without looking at the map I'm gonna show you something we have to work it's probably not a good time Are you saying it's not safe for work? Use the lighter. Let's go. There it is. There it is. It is safe for work. I appreciate the hesitation. <laughs> uh, oh God. Oh shit. Where are you, you cheeky bastard? Oh shit, there's a couple of them, oh god. 
This is the first time I've had to fight more than one at a time. And I don't like it. Yeah, how do you think I feel? Now where the hell did the other one go? Oh, did I get him? I don't care, the children can stay away. Got enough problems without ghost kids. Alright, where was I? Oh yeah, I gotta go back this way. How much health do I have? Uh, I might need to heal. I use all my damn medicine. I wasn't expecting that second ghost to pop up over there. We still have time to call Luigi. I need him. I need him right about now. Suck these crazy ladies up. turn around I'm enjoying this game a lot though the, like I really like the story and uh, it's definitely got that creepy atmosphere going I'd say it's not as scary as like Silent Hill but it's definitely got the, the creep creep factor Twitch makes it seem like you can use sub emotes despite not being subbed anymore. Bastards. You can unlock them via points, though. Oh god. Oh, did you refresh? I'm assuming. No. Uh-uh. That's what you just said. Yeah, I've forgotten you, you're getting an ad now. Because <laughs> you must have refreshed or something. Because I didn't run an ad. Wait, what? Match the carvings to the characters, maybe? I mean, maybe. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. Why well, I don't even have the other one in here yet. Oh, I'm limited on my moves. I didn't know I was limited on my moves. I had to refresh to not get bamboozled, I gotcha. I figured because I was like, I know I didn't. I don't like this room. I don't like this room one bit. <laughs> hey, Pew. I don't know why the alert didn't go off, but thank you for the sub. 
12 months. Yeah, let's get all the love in the chat. I don't know why the alert didn't go off, though. You're getting bamboozled every which way. Hit reload overlays, but it didn't seem to do anything. <laughs> yeah, let's get all the love in the chat. Thank you so much for resubbing, Pew. I appreciate it. Yeah, like literally the uh, the stream elements thing isn't even like showing yet. Let me see here. There we go. We did it. For some reason, the the docked stream elements thing was not showing the sub, but the desktop app did, so I was able to just redo it. There's an audio tape. Oh no, another blue tape. Four Buddha statues and some kind of pedestal in front of a small shrine. Yeah, he said that, that we needed another Buddha statue. Oh god! Oh god. Oh no, do I have to fight this guy? Oh no. Oh, I don't like this at all. Hey, hey, oh shell. <laughs> Pew Pew with the 100 bits, thank you so much, dude. Oh, yeah, because I only had the five slots, so. And he he Halloweened like seven emotes. So I had to put a couple of them as bit ones. They're double teaming you hard, and you like it. <laughs> Because I was eventually going to replace the the Zorvax bot with the Stream Elements bot, but then I realized I was going to end up losing a lot of stuff to do it, so I just need to turn it off to where only one announces. I don't really usually ever think about it, though, because I don't normally get a lot of bits and stuff. Thank you for the 100 bits, dude. That's very kind of you. I appreciate it. Yeah, unfortunately, since we have seven emotes and only five slots, two of them had to go into to cheer mode slots. Okay, so this is not... Ah! Uh, I didn't even get a chance to get away! Leave me alone! Where'd he go? Oh god. Vanished. Tried to pull a sneaky on me. How is he? He's like phasing out of existence every time I actually get a good shot at him. Slowly making my way to the cheery moan. I know, I wish, I wish there was a way to not have to lock anything behind the paywalls. There we go. Nice. I gotta keep running. No! He teleported.
excuse me, I'm trying to fight a ghost. <laughs> okay, he's dead. I was like, why are you showing me this right now? <laughs> But we got it. The last Buddha statue is at the Shinto gate. Am I not at the Shinto gate right now? Isn't that what this is? Or was it gonna have appeared here? No, it's not book. Go to the shrine deep within the mansion where they say the piece of the true holy mirror is kept. For the boo statues, I need to get a piece of the mirror, and I managed to find an old document that tells the location of the fifth statue. Make observance to the Buddha at the base of the large gates so that the souls maidens can reach up to the heavens at the base of the large gate. Now that I've read these notes, I can use them towards content of my next book. Oh god. I think your book is the last thing you should be worrying about right now. Alright, hold on. I had to save up for one of these bonus functions, man. Yeah, I know that another Buddha statue is supposed to go there. I appreciate that. hearing noises when I'm coming down, so... So I need the last Buddha statue. Yes, most definitely save after that. Alright, I wonder how long this game is. Two hours in already. Hi, hello. Nice to meet you. Whew. Yeah, I think I think I'm done with the gameplay for for tonight. <laughs> uh, I think I think that's a really good stopping point for the game. For sure. Seven and a half hours, so really not bad. So basically, a few a few streams, and I could finish that. So maybe like over the course of the month, we can just play it here or there and play all the way through. And I've got, like I've got a bunch of PC horror games. Let me see. Let me look at my Steam list here. So yeah, I've got Alien Isolation, which I already have. No, don't launch. I didn't mean launch. I just wanted to click it and look at it. So 
we got alien isolation. Um, I know I have amnesia. Yeah, I have amnesia, dark descent, and amnesia, a machine for pigs, both. And then I have layers of fear. I don't have layers of fear too. But I have layers of fear. I have beaten it. It's been... Actually, it's been about three years since I played Layers of Fear from the looks of it. I have way too many games to actually just sit here and scroll through to see what's, what's horror. Uh, Dark Souls. That's kind of kind of a horror game. Uh, I have the Dead Space games. I streamed the first Dead Space, but I think I'm I'm pretty sure I have all of the Dead Space games. If I'm not misremembering them, I basically have all the Resident Evil games between PC and console. No, those really qualify as scary games, I don't think. Alan Wake, I actually played some of Alan Wake for a Halloween one year. It was 27, 2017, October 26th, 2017, we played Alan Wake. Oh, this game is good too. It's called Anna. I played it some too. It was really creepy. I have way more PC scary games than I do console games. I had another one that I know of too, but I can't. Maybe it was this one Cry of Fear? Yeah, I think this was it, because I was going to play it one year, and then I never actually got around to playing it for Halloween. Doom 3 is technically a scary game. There's, there's probably more in here that I'm just not seeing, but yeah. But yeah, I have a pretty good, pretty good amount of PC games that we can play for scary games. But I mean, I'm still gonna be playing Yakuza, and obviously once the WoW pre-patch hits on the 13th, we're gonna be streaming that too. I was, just, yeah, I was scrolling through my Steam list to see what scary games I had. Because, like, while I'm going to be continuing my, uh, my playthrough of Yakuza, I want to also continue to mix in some scary games. Oh, that's on the list. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is definitely on the list for the future. I bought that to play when I did my big Metal Gear Solid marathon that I did the other year. When I played through 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 all on stream. I didn't finish 5 because 5 is just too long to do on stream. But I did 1, 2, 3, 4 and a fair portion of 5. Project Zomboid. It's not really a scary game, but it's... Uh, it's like a zombie survival game. It's actually really fun.
There's so many games on here that I've never played. It's really bad. It's really bad. But yeah. It's good times, man. I, I really did intend to play um, a few different games tonight, but I just, I got into Fatal Frame and everybody seemed to be enjoying it. So I was like, we'll just, we'll just play this. And maybe next week or something we can play other ones. Silent Hill for sure. Gotta play at least a little bit of Silent Hill. <clears throat> the Fatal Frame games connected? I don't know. I don't know. I can read the box. I think I was wondering, it's nearby forest. It says this one is about twin sisters, so maybe it's different then? Because in this one we're playing as a, a brother and sister, and this says twin sisters. And it's about a ritual of the Crimson Sacrifice, so I guess they're not connected. Or loosely connected, I don't know. The boxes are so creepy though, man. I'll put that back in a minute. It's hard to move the ghost to get up in there. So I'm guessing, yeah, they, they might be loosely connected at best. From the sounds of the, the back of the box. We shall see, though. Because I will eventually play it. Um, but we are going to do, I think, Crystal and I have to uh, hammer down the day, but I think when I'm off work um, here in a couple weeks, what is that exactly? It's about a little over two weeks away still. Um, I'll do my 12 hour stream that I promised everybody. That'll be a good time. We'll, we'll do like a wide variety of games last time i did one i think i played like six or seven different games at least over the course of the stream maybe even more i don't honestly remember but we can play some retro games we can play some pc games we can do it all and i still need to do a campfire stream eventually that's going to be more doable now that the weather's cooling down we still gotta do the Bob Ross stream. We still got a lot of special streams we need to do, man. I gotta get on all this stuff. But anyways, guys, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night there. I was just chatting for a few since uh, I didn't want to, I didn't want to continue. And like, not that I didn't want to continue anymore. It was just like, I was in a really good spot. 
we just beat that that boss ghost and like I saved and everything so it was a really good spot to stop but I mean it's it's pretty close to end time anyway I appreciate you guys um I'm sure I'll talk to y'all on discord and stuff as per normal otherwise we'll be back Monday but uh yeah I'm not planning on it like normally um I'll do the weekend streams for like the special streams maybe like next Saturday we'll do the the, the painting stream or something yeah I normally don't ever stream on Saturday or Sunday unless we're doing like a special occasion or um them okay let me check your your hold on I didn't check anything that you sent me Let me check this video that you sent me real quick. With their cheeks hanging out. Oh god. <laughs> it's him. Walking erection. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's cool. That's a cool idea, man. I didn't see that yet, no, I'm not, I'm not there, hold on. I was just now watching the video that you sent me. Let me look. I didn't see it when you guys said it, I guess. I mean, sometimes you guys just talk a lot in Discord, and like, especially if I'm at work, I don't really have time to check it. And then, like, there's just so many messages, I don't usually scroll all the way back to the beginning to see everything. <laughs> Halloween meetup on December 31st. <laughs> oh god. That's funny. Yeah, no, we can definitely do that. What, what day is the 31st? It's a Saturday. So yeah, that's actually perfect. We can do a, a special like bonus stream for Halloween. I mean, probably, yeah. Pretty much. Um, but yeah, for sure. I think that'll be great. We can do, uh, do Animal Crossing Halloween stream. It's not like we're gonna have any plans or anything. Um, so yeah, maybe not, not this weekend, but maybe next weekend we'll plan to do the, the painting stream, the Bob Ross painting stream. Which was where I said we'd watch a, a Bob Ross video and I'll do like a MS Paint drawing along with it to see how good I can do. We can do that like next weekend. And that'll knock out another, another special stream. Yeah, we're, we we finished. We actually like, stopped like maybe 10 minutes ago because I was at a really good spot. <clears throat> we were just talking about meeting up on Halloween on Animal Crossing.
I know Kami did such a good job with the overlay as with everything else. And then of course my my decorations. Yeah. It's just not safe to do trick or treating. IMO. IMHO. So I think that's a good idea. So yeah, I'm thinking next Saturday we'll do um, the Bob Ross stream. And then, let's see, so next Saturday's the 10th. And then it might be that following weekend, maybe that following Sunday, perhaps. I might do the 12 hour stream. If not, it'll be someday that week when I'm off work. We'll do that 12 hour stream, and then after that, um, we still need to do the campfire stream. I want people to give me treats, don't we all? Don't we all? Uh, all right, my friends. Well, I think I'm going to head out. I appreciate you all very much. I hope you have a good rest of your night. Good day tomorrow. All that good stuff. Um, stream will be back Monday as per usual. Otherwise, you can find me in Discord and all that good stuff, which I mean, I know all you guys are in Discord, but I'll throw the link up either way. So yeah, enjoy your, your night, guys, and I will uh, talk to you all later tomorrow, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. I appreciate you. Have a good one.